But he says here, old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new and all things are of God. So in your spirit, everything in you, in your spirit is of God. Now, to the degree, let's say when you got born again, if you heard that God wanted to save you, then, and you believed it and you said, okay, yes, I'm going to act on this and you get born again. To that minute degree, your mind was renewed to the word of God. That might, and honestly, that's where most people stop. Most people just get born again. You know, they think they got their ticket punched and now they're just waiting, you know, to go to heaven. That is not God's plan. Not, it's not his plan that you, you know, get born again, even maybe as a child, live your whole life just waiting to go, you know, die and be with him so that his will can be fulfilled. He wants his will fulfilled in your life right here, right now on this earth. Amen? And honestly, you should be living in a way, now this is where a, this is where maturity comes in, but you should be living your life in a way that if and when you do leave this physical body and you step over into the spirit realm with God, that it won't even be a surprise to you. Why? Because you've walked with him, you've talked with him, and you'll just feel at home. It won't be like, wow, what is all this? No, no, why? Because we have access to God through Jesus Christ. And we have that access right now. We have access to heaven. We have access to the throne of God. We have access to the Father himself. So if the first time you meet him is when you die to go be with him, then you have wasted a lot of time that you could have been visiting him and talking to him and fellowshipping with him so that there should be no difference in just stepping over into that other realm other than you're going to feel a whole lot lighter, right? Because right, you won't have that body holding you down anymore. So 